The World Darts Championship, day 11, a darting spree in round three. Would we get the cool hand, Luke, or the clenched fist, Nico? Could the wee man flex his muscles on a demolition job, or would Lewis avoid the crash? And what would expressions like this from Dimitri and this from Woody mean for their darting destiny? The pressure's on today on High Roller Radio. Yes, the 11th day of the championship, and the hits just keep on coming. Three games on the slate today as the third round rolls on. And a reminder, best of seven sets. That lineup right there, my friends, is quality. Highest average so far announced starts behind the hockey. Dimitri Vandenberg recording the highest average of the 2020 William Hill World Darts Championship as he bounced out Josh Payne in Sunday's afternoon session. The Belgian was impressive, averaging 103.81. I was crying to my dad on the phone, he said. This quote provided by the PDC, and he said, son, now is the time for you. Dimitri revealing how his father helped him out of a slump just in time for the Alexandra Palace. That's what dads are for. Quickly running down last night's action. How about the bronze to Don as Steve Beaton turning back the years on James Wade. He was brilliant in a 4-2 victory. The Hurricane got by Danny Knoppert. That was a good one. MVG, of course, a straight sets winner as he KO'd Rapid Ricky. Of the 1,253 legs played in this year's tournament reported Acapedia, there has only been one 10 darter, and that was by young Nico Kurz. That leg was one of 13 in which a player began with at least six perfect darts. And are you ready for this? The only player with two such nine dart attempts is Fallon Sherrick. A random thought here from Nathan James Renwick. Had a dream, he said. Gary Anderson won the world's. Some food for thought. All right, we start with the Nico Kurz walk on as the young German emerges from the throng of fans on hand at the Alley Pally, and then he had to wade through the cheerleaders. Luke Humphreys, his opponent, a quarter finalist last year. Can he make a deep run again this Christmas? Well, first set, he came out firing, raced ahead 2 0. Then at 2 1, he landed the 124 on double 11, three perfect darts to seal the open opening said for the modest fist pump. So far, so good, he's thinking. But what was he thinking here after Nico Kurz took the second set in a decider? One set each. Third set, the German finding some rhythm. This double 18 for one all. He took the next two as well. And as Russ Bray belted out the leg winner, he was ahead two sets to one. A view from the back of the house as we start the fourth set. We got some reactions like this as Humphrey He's upped his intensity. It's level again, tweeted Liam Martin. That's more like it from Humphreys, he said. Great set. He took out 122 on the bull. Crucial sequence at 1-1 fifth set. Kurz leading 2-1. And on the big fish to win it, he'd land the two trebles, but miss the bullseye. Hit the 25 instead, and Humphreys broke to save the set. He liked that third dart, didn't he? Then in the decider, more drama. Kurz would have set darts, so would Humphreys, and he finally found one, double one, Madhouse, for three sets to two. We got some big emotion, pure intensity. That is adrenaline. Credit to Kurz, though. He leveled the sixth set with a monster 131 checkout. Played very well. The proof right there. Solid stuff. At 2-1, though, Humphreys would close it out on double 16 for game set match of four sets to two winner. Every game I've played in this tournament has been so hard, he said. It shows you who's got the bottle on stage. Adrian Lewis towing the hockey against Darren Webster. Demolition Man was up for it. 2-2 opening set. The wee man had throw. Got down first and pinned the double 20 for an early advantage and some early emotion. The second set, a carbon copy. This time, Webster had to break in the last leg to steal it, and that he did for 2-0. With the pressure mounting on 80, he responded in set 3. We got the double 
full clenched fist pump, trying to generate momentum. But look at this. Webster took a 108 for a 2-0 lead. Third time in just four sets, he's gone up 2-0, and he was charged up demonstrative. Lewis in deep now, but he is a two-time world champ, and he clawed it back to level. Shots like this helped. So did finishes like this, and Webster had a look of anguish as he departed the playing area. All tied two sets each now. He could have been up 4-0 and off the stage for good. So, how did he do this to start the fifth set? The Immaculate 140 checkout, treble 20, then double 20 times 2, brilliant and the expression says it all yes baby it's three sets to two go on darren tweeted charlie gray he's a fan now lewis gained control in set six and at two nil he fired in this but wow what a counter from darren the 142 60 bullseye and then this double 16 and look at this scoreline demolition man on the nine eight perfect darts that close to the double 12 drama he can't believe it and it was jackpot on a seventh and deciding set all tied at three and as we check out the numbers at two two seven set tie break it was nip and tuck webster would have chances but Lewis would get over the line by taking two in a row. He wins it four sets to three, four, two in the tie break. Great sportsmanship at the end. Mutual respect on all those clutch finishes. I had no choice, he said. Every time I did, he did too. I was thinking, what's going on here? That's one of the greatest games I've ever been involved in. Luke Woodhouse making his way to the stage, fighting illness. Seems he's got the flu. He wasn't feeling good. Whereas this guy was dancing and doing his thing. Threw in a couple of spins for good measure just because he can. We check out the profiles, the throwing styles. I can tell you the Belgian took the first two sets, but Woody responded nicely in set three. This is reaction when he made it 2-1. Then he made good on double four to get on the board. Bang, bang, it was two sets to one. Dimitri pinned the 120 Shanghai to open up set four. Nice shot. Then he went ahead 2-0 to get the girls touching glasses. So props to Woodhouse for hanging tough. He took out 51 first, then found the maximum en route to 2-2. But in the decider, against the darts, Vandenberg scored better, finished two for a three sets to one stranglehold. Woodhouse did well to take set five on double 16. No big emotion. Remember, he's not feeling well. He then held to start set six and then fired in his fourth 180, but Vandenberg responded with one of his own. The Dream Maker then finished off another ton plus en route to level. Good fight back. Look at that litany of monster checkouts. Vandenberg with four. Woodhouse 2, spectacular finishing. So, you had to favor Woody for the 101 to force a 7th and final set. He'd get a dart at double 16, but no. And on 86, the Belgian would pin the treble, and then a last dart double for the 4 sets to 2 victory. And like that, he's dancing off to Christmas and the 4th round, the last 16. Here's what's coming up tonight. Dave Chisnell, Gary Anderson, and Peter Wright all in action. We'll give the last word to Fredo May. By the way, guys, he said, did you know Fallon is playing Chris Doby on Friday at 3 p.m. after beating Menser? A little sarcasm there. Having fun with the PDC because the PDC is mentioning it quite a lot. But why not? It's the World Championship today on High Roller Radio.